Hi, this is Kate from PageFly. Are you looking to level up your page organization and engagement into a tab content like this? Stay tuned as we dive into how you can effortlessly create stunning tabs to captivate your audience by using tab element in PageFly. To begin, it is essential to understand how to access the tab element. Here we are in the page editor. Simply navigate to the add element icon located in the left toolbar and you can find the tab element here. The tabs element comes with multiple variations covering most of your needs. Easily drag and drop the first option into the page editor and see how it can be configured. The parameters in the general tab is specific for this element. Let's dive right in. If you wish to add new tabs to the element, simply click on add new item. To duplicate a tab, click on this icon. Tabs can also be deleted by clicking on the trash icon to rearrange the order of items, simply hold on to the icon and drag it back or forth as desired. The default active item option allows customers to select a tab item and have it open automatically in live view. Please note that this function only operates in live view. For the left and right position of the headers, you can adjust the vertical alignment to top, middle, or bottom. And for the top and bottom position of the headers, you can also set up the vertical alignment here Additionally, you can make the menu full width by selecting the Yes button here. Next, take a few minutes to review the general settings of the tab headers. You can edit the name of each tab header in the text box provided and customize the text using the function above. If you wish to display an icon with the header text, simply enable the Show Icon option. This section allows you to add anchor text. Please keep in mind that this feature is only functional in live view. Let's now proceed to customize the styling settings of the tab header. There are various states that can be customized for the tab header. I will choose the normal state. Firstly, we will adjust the font family and font size. Moving on to the mouse over state, I will modify the content color and background color to enhance the visual appeal. And for active or selected state, I will change the content color and background color to ensure a cohesive design. Here we are. One key point I want to emphasize is the ability to add any content into the tab content and customize it. For tab one, I will drag and drop a product list into it, then choose the collection. Do similar to the tab two, After that, I will take a few moments to edit some style for it. I will copy the style from the styled one for a faster process. Here's the result. Once completed, save and publish the page, then preview it in live view to ensure everything looks as intended. This is the end of the video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel to get more new video tutorials and contact us via live chat 24 seven. Thanks for watching.